Hi guys, I'm Megan Graham and today I am here to talk to you about how to get your Yorkie used to a carrier. I don't carry my Yorkies in a carrier all the time. Yorkies are obviously real dogs. They love to go out for walks. They love to get exercise but there are certain situations where you do need to have your Yorkie in a carrier. So I always have my Yorkies inside a carrier. It's actually a sleepy pod carrier when I am driving them in the car because if there were an accident, it's really important that they are safe and contained in their carrier. Also, if I fly out to see my husband Jeff in Aspen during winter time, it's really important that they're in a carrier because the airline will not let your Yorkie be running around loose on the plane. So this brings me to how to get your dog used to a carrier. What a lot of people do is they wait until the moment that they need to use a carrier. And as you can see, the Yorkies are not the only ones that like carriers. Simba, my cat, also does love to be inside a carrier. So he's pretty jealous because Lola is inside the carrier right now and he would like to be there as well. So basically you don't want to wait until the situation where you need to put your dog into a carrier. So if you're going to the vet's office and you decide that that is going to be the first time that you put your dog into a carrier, you're actually going to have a really bad experience because your dog is not used to being in the carrier. So like almost all things that are successful with your dog, be it a Yorkie, be it um, a Bichon, be it any kind of dog, the best way to do things is to get them used to what you're doing. So one of the first things that I would always say to do is to simply take the carrier out and let your dogs get used to it. So let them sniff it, let them smell it, let them be around it, and don't force your dog to go inside of the carrier. You might even just want to leave the carrier on the ground for a couple of days so they get used to it being in your home, they see it, and they see that it is not a threat. And then what you could do is you could put your dog inside the carrier. You could pet your dog for just a minute and tell, say it's Lola, you would say, what a good girl. You are being such a good girl. You would not try to zip or close the carrier. We're just talking about baby, baby steps and just getting your puppy super used to it. So I would try this for just a minute and then take your dog out of the carrier give him or her a little treat and just say what a great job they did. You could repeat this for maybe one to two minutes, just a little bit longer each day as they get used to it. Once your dog gets really used to the carrier and you feel like your dog is no longer uncomfortable, you could try to zip the carrier closed for about 30 seconds and just tell your dog what a great dog he or she is and then open up the carrier, take your dog out and give your dog a treat. So we're just adding on some little steps every single day. We're not trying to go too fast. We're not trying to create any trauma or stress for the dog. And after you have closed the carrier for about 30 seconds, you could try that again the next day and maybe even pick up the carrier, talk to your dog the entire time. Say, Lola, you're doing such a good job. You are such a good girl. You're doing a great job in the carrier. Wow. So I talk to my dogs like they're babies because they are my babies. Um, and they like to be talked to with a little bit more energy and life than maybe a person does. Yes, you do. They love it when I say wow. Um, so finally, once your dog has gotten used to that, you can tell there is no stress. There's no trauma. They're actually not minding to go into it you could actually try going outside on a walk for a few minutes with your dog in the carrier. Um, if there's a window, you can open it right up so they know exactly what's going on and just tell them what a great, great dog they are and make it really fun. So when Lola was a puppy, I would do that and sometimes I would take her if I was going to get some takeout food for my dinner or doing a quick errand so that she started to really associate the carrier with fun things and she started to enjoy it. Once she got used to it, she actually started to think of her carrier as a really, really happy place. And now it really doesn't, as you can see, take any work to get her into the carrier. If anything, when I set a carrier down, all of my dogs are trying to get into the carrier because they associate it as being such a positive place. They actually like the carrier so much that if there is a thunder or lightning storm, I will often put a carrier down on the ground, maybe even two or three if they're really scared, open them up and the dogs will hide in their carriers because they think that they are such a safe place.
Guys, if you're enjoying this video, please take a moment to like my video and let me know if you've had a positive or negative experience by using a carrier with your dog. Are there any hurdles that you've run into where you didn't have a good experience and it could have been a little bit better and you wonder why that is? I would love to hear why. And if you are not already subscribing to my channel, please do so. I talk a lot about how you and your pet can have a happier, healthier, and more beautiful life. Um, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below as well. So guys, using a carrier can be a really positive experience. It's very handy if your pets are comfortable being in a carrier because there are just certain times where you need to put your dog or even your cat into a carrier. So my cat Simba is also very, very used to being in a carrier. And if I take his backpack out, he jumps right into it, which makes it so easy for me when I need to take him to the vet. One of the things and one of the reasons that I took so much time to train Simba to go in his carrier is that my mom kept telling me what a terrible experience it was for her when she was taking her animals to the vet. Her cats absolutely hate the carrier and they just carried on and it was a terrible and traumatic experience every time she took them somewhere. I really hope that this video was helpful to you. It was inspired by a friend of mine who recently took her Yorkshire Terrier that she just got on a plane and she said her Yorkie was just barking its head off the entire time and I said, you know, what, why was that? And I asked her if he had ever been in his carrier before and she said that the first time that she put him into his carrier was actually on the plane. So that is really a recipe for a disaster and imagine how you would feel if you hadn't been on a plane and you hadn't been in an enclosed space like that and you were just suddenly supposed to be inside this really tiny enclosed space in this very different situation it would be frightening so it's always good for us to put ourselves into our dog's shoes to understand how they might feel living in our world we definitely need to have some tenderness and some understanding because it is not easy for a dog for a Yorkie to live in a human world. So we have to do our best to really go out of our way to make them comfortable and make all of their transitions easier. It was so nice to talk to you guys. I look forward to talking to you soon. Stay healthy and stay beautiful and I'll see you in the next video. I'll see. You're the one that stresses me out the most. Kisses? Give me a kiss. Mm. Mm. Give me the kisses. Let me have a kiss. Come here. Mm. Can I have a kiss? Mm. Give me a kiss. Mm. Give me the kiss. Mm. Mm. Give me that kiss. Mm. I'm going to give you a kiss. Mm. Who that? Why don't you want the kisses? Why don't you want my kisses? Come here. Why don't you want my kisses? I love you. Okay. You don't have to have a kiss. You're a good boy. Okay, Poppy, good girl. Let me just clean you up a little bit. Just give her a kiss.
of your hair. Where's Moles? Hi, can we? Oh, wow. You're Casey. Oh, yeah. Are you writing my notebook? Come here. Come on. Quick little face question, okay? Good girl. Wow, you look so pretty today. It's like Mommy gave you a haircut yesterday. Okay. I'm just going to go this way. I know your face gets so messy. How'd you mess up your hair like that? 